Hello, Galaxy of Hero players. This is Antitech Ordo. Today, I'm going to be kind of going over the mic update or the current uh, meta, at least in the shard that I'm in. And it's changed since the last time I did a recording on it, or if I had done a court recording. But I'm just going to skim through the at least the top 50, talk about them a little bit, and you know, say that's where they are kind of right now. Of course, you know, it was a couple weeks, or it was like a week and a half ago when I last looked, and it wasn't this diverse. It's changed over the last week, week and a half. So, <clears throat> typically we got a Ray and a Luke team going on. I think Luke team has a uh, Ray in it. Nope. That's kind of the team exactly I have, except right now I currently have Rex until I get my characters a little higher. Um, but... Let's see, and then of course the raid team is probably just a typical raid team with... Oh, no old Ben has Ray instead. So there's that um, change of Ray or old Ben. I feel I like it. I like the idea of old Ben just because he taunts. Kind of a double taunt as long as he's Zated. And he applies a lot of um, debuffs. So, yeah. Which is probably why Rex is still really good because if like R2 does an AoE, Rex speeds up the team and then he can cleanse off. Uh, so... Um, but here we go. The next five or next four, we got a Ventress led team, two Mother Talzin led teams, and these are just like simple. You know, like this one has a Han Solo in it, which is kind of weird, but you know, Han Solo still works kind of well in some teams. <clears throat> but he is better on Rebel teams. Um, we got you know Chili Da. He's doing his uh, General Kenobi, the typical General Kenobi add-in. Um, we also got, because of these Mother Talzin teams, we've got Imperial Troopers. They're starting to make a comeback, and that's good. I still feel like yeah, once we get an Imperial Faction pass with uh, some Imperial Trooper add-ins, I feel like that would really boost Imperial Troopers even more. But these Imperial Trooper teams do really well because of the fact they have... Um, a lot of splash damage towards um, Night Sister teams, which shut down, shuts down the um, the iconic whoops, the iconic combo, which I think is on this team. No, nope. where's it? I, I've seen a night. Excuse me, a Night Sister team with yeah. Here we go with Night Sister Acolyte. So the splash damage would just take that out and wouldn't have a problem with it. So yeah. Um, Going back. So we got quite a few different Night Sister teams up in the top 20. Um, we still have a bunch of Ray teams, but they've been all pushed. Holy cow, that's a lot of Rays in, in a row. <laughs> we got a Commander Luke, Ray. Oh, we got a General Kenobi. He's probably still rocking the Bears. Yep, combo. Which probably it's to the point. I don't know. I've, ha I've half debated on, you know, what would be better than Barris would be Luminara, but I kind of don't see that because. Once, um, once, uh, at least so you could get the bonus attack from everyone with healing. But once, uh, um, Jedi Ray actually throws, you know, her ability, her debuff ability on a character, then it's kind of over. Now, another option for this spot would be Hermit Yoda. I don't know if this guy has it or not, but Hermit Yoda, um, he would be really good because he still at least cleanses a little bit. He still heals with equalization and he calls a lot of assists so i could see barris a lot of your barris teams could be replaced with hermit yoda you do lose the barris um trade-off but at least you're getting a lot of heals and you still have a chance to you have a couple of chances to sit there heal and then call in a bunch of assists so but you know that, that team's doing pretty well another knight sister team um another general kenobi a couple of general kenobi teams so yeah Top 50 is like really fluctuating here and there. Um, this one actually has, instead of Luke and Han, it has Thrawn and Nihilus. That's very optional. Um, still a bunch more. And honestly, what's funny is down here, there is a Darth Maul led team. Surprisingly, this is a Darth Maul led team, you know, keeping up there. And at least in the top 50. So. Will we see a comeback of Darth Maul? Probably not, because Rex teams do counter it, unfortunately. Because there are some Rex teams I've seen, yeah, that have Commander Luke, R2, Han, and Thrawn. That's a weird, con <laughs> that's a weird team. No tank, but hey, 
it, it, you know, if you get it working right, you, know, you get up there to the top, go for it. So, yeah, those are the teams so far. Um, I will check back in a couple of weeks to see where it's at. Of course, you know, the release of new characters might change that a little more. If we get another good First Order character or two, or a couple more Resistance characters, we might see some more Resistance and flu or Fluctuation. So, we'll see what happens with that. Or maybe if we get the right Resistance characters, we might actually see uh, Finn come back. Um, with Jedi Ray and but mostly most of the most of the time Jedi Ray is just better than Finn on on leadership So we probably won't but I think it'd be kind of cool to see Finn come back up to the top because of a certain character added in Like maybe Rose Rose has synergy with Finn So, you know, maybe that's kind of a boost there <laughs> So but yeah, does I just wanted to show kind of where my sh um, shard or server is for the arena um, I do kind of want to, <clears throat> I don't do this often, but I might as well cover the ships a little bit. A lot of them are just <laughs> target lock. Um, yeah, I know my arena ranks are kind of meh. But yeah, we got a lot of, you know, Thrawn and, oh, we got a Mace Windu up at top. But we have a lot of Thrawns and uh, Tarkins, so I'm going to just kind of skim through at least the five teams are using. All of them tend to use bigs. Because of just his, anytime a target lock character adds in, or target locks, you know, Biggs gains protection. So, it makes him for a good tank. Um, I think his basic target damage stunned them for one turn and they have 50 more otherwise. I think this one's the one. No, this one doesn't have it. Each time Tyathanser is damaged or damages a target locked enemy, gains 10 speed and 8 offense stacking. Wow. Do you see why Tie Silencer is a really good character uh, ship? Uh, but yeah, like a lot of these are just a lot of Thrawns and Tarkins. Thrawn, I feel like, is a better ship, but Tarkin does have the uh, that ultimate um, TIE Fighter damage effect. The only um, counter to that is. Um, Mace Windus, which there are some target lock teams with Mace Windus, so I wouldn't mind seeing just a pure rebel team come up to the top of the list. There's like no Akbars. <laughs> oh, there's an Akbar. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised. Of course, it's kind of a makeshift uh, target lock team, probably. He does what he can until he gets the right characters, but target lock teams are just the top, top tier. That's kind of. Sad. I hope there's more influx with you know, a better synergy with, uh, you know, some of these uh, factions for ships. But for the most part, ships still kind of meh. Like, you can only use them in Territory Wars, Territory Battles, and then the Arena. I still hope under this hut we get a, uh, a trail. I would walk through it with everyone. So, but until then, you know, that's where we're at right now. But, yeah, I just wanted to show the Arenas, mostly the... The squad arena and you know let you guys know how it's going um, At least my arena shard or server for some people So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the metas um, Between ship and characters. Let me know how you feel like they could be changed um, What you like about them and I do appreciate you guys watching these videos It's been fun while uh, making these videos. So again, thanks for watching and you guys all have a wonderful day